either guy here coming to you live and direct with another video so i'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible quick as possible um because i just i just thought about something <laughs> okay for one i'm running out of space on my phone and i thought about something man like damn it's deep well at least i think it's deep i was learning about you know um i'm on the way of purchasing my two wooded lots of land right small lots or whatever Enough for myself, but you know, because I can financially um um uh, pay for them or whatever, right? So I'm learning about countries with it, with my chainsaw, clearing my own land because I'm not trying to pay no seventy five hundred dollars, no thirty five hundred dollars, none of that. So I'm trying to clear my my lots um by myself. One is near me, one is far away. I'm on the way of becoming self sufficient, so I'm learning. You know, I'm doing what I can financially, you know, uh, with the money that I have and the knowledge that I have. So, yeah. Um, so, as I'm thinking about, oh, yeah, while I was running out of space on my phone, I had to clear up some trash, right? Because, you know, think about it. In real life, we have trash that we, you know, put in a dump or whatever. Then the garbage man, they come pick it up. And they take it to a landfill for the, I don't, I don't even know what they do with the trash when it goes to the landfill. But I have heard of people, some people go to the dump and they start scavenging for um, old credit cards and stuff like that. And that's how they hack you and stuff like that. Find out where you live and all that type of stuff, right? So I was thinking, since these beings want us online, they want us online all the time, right? You know, um, online is the new version of the streets. If they destroy the streets in real life, whether it be natural earthquakes or unnatural earthquakes and stuff like that, destroying the buildings and stuff, um, it's like we still going to be online. We still going to be on this internet. We still going to be using these cameras, these screens, these devices. So I noticed something. I'm basically trying to correlate um the trash part basically when you have trash you have a lot of trash you take it to the dump so i'm thinking like okay the reason why my phone was still full on space is because i didn't dump my trash online so i went to my my junk pile on my phone and then i cleared it so I'm sitting here wondering, like, if I'm clearing it, where does the that junk mail go? You see what I'm saying? And I feel like if there's a real life trash dump, there has to be a, a, a online version of that. So all of the photos that we delete, whether it be not explicit, explicit or explicit, right? You think those photos that you took are gone, but they really just in a junk, a basically a cybernetic or a online junk pile, and that's where, um, uh, what you call, what would you call it, um, like cyber hackers and stuff, they go scavenging through your old photos and stuff, and old videos and skits and snippets and stuff like that that you don't so called clear from your phone. I believe that they, they, that they pick up those things and take them to the dark web or something like that. If you know what I mean, like it's just a thought that I had. <laughs> if it's an offline version of trash, a trash dump where they recycle and stuff like that, it it has to be a, a online version of that. And that's where these hackers come in. These evil, sadistic people. They you know they use that information that you so called think you discard but really they they get access to that information and you just don't have access to it anymore because i mean you cleared it or whatever but anyway i was sitting here learning about countries and stuff like that you know trying to you know learn on my own and i did not know that it's so much that goes into cutting trees there's a certain way you have to cut a tree so it won't fall on you or anybody around or land on somebody's property um so this is the video that i was watching i'm trying to do this before the video cut off so the guy he cut it at like 80 percent or 80 percent degree or whatever that he cut from the bottom 
so the tree can fall in the direction that he cut it. He cut from the backside, and then he let his team or whoever he with know that he's about to clear it. Like, um, he'll say, like, all clear, and then, you know, let the tree fall. And I did not know, man, like, because I, cause I work in a warehouse, and they have, like, tree wedges, and I did not know that those look, let me see, tree wedge. I ain't even know what these things were, but we sell them in our warehouse. It's called a filling wedge. And we sell a lot of them in our, in our my workplace or whatever, but I did not know. <laughs> you got to have a tree wedge and all of that. Well, I guess that's why, actually, the, I guess that's the science of how, because that's actually the shape of a axe. So that I guess that's if you cut a tree with an axe as well. So yeah. I was I was thinking to myself, dang, I, cause when I start cutting cutting these trees on my land or whatever, I got I need to be clearing like the the brush, like the little limbs and stuff. Cause I was envisioning myself like just walking up to, to a tree, get my chainsaw, cranking it up, and just start cutting. But I, I had to be aware that I need to be able, I need to um clear my surroundings of where I want to cut, where I want the tree to land, because if I start cutting that tree and I haven't cleared my area, my basically my escape area, because let's let's say that I'm cutting a tree, and then the tree start falling in the direction that I didn't expect it to, <laughs> and I now I can't even escape. I don't trap myself, and now the tree don't fell on me. And now I really will be in nature. <laughs> I'll be on die naturally by a tree. You see what I'm saying? So I'm glad I watched this video. This so four to five minutes worth of a video of just cutting a tree. The man got all the equipment, construction helmet, the little mesh mask. So now I'm just researching the different equipment that I may need. Uh, on cutting while cutting trees, I might buy the earmuffs. Um, I don't know, so I might be hitting up Home Depot. <laughs> might be hitting up Home Depot, and um, probably Harbor Harbor Freighty Home Depot Home Depot or Harbor Freighty. <laughs> For some um uh chainsaw equip I mean tree cutting equipment. So I'm just sitting here researching. So yeah, what I'm gonna do well I already got a machete, so I'm probably just gonna be using that to clear the little brush around me. My I wanna get a electric I wanna get a electric uh a little saw, electric hand saw that I can you know that's good quality that I could just charge up. Um, yeah, char fully charge up, and then I can use that to cut the little limb, tree limbs, and stuff like that. Cause I had did a little brief walking through to basically see the um the elevation of the land or whatever, and it just was a lot of brush everywhere. So that's what I will be doing. Uh, let's see all this equipment over here. I need to get a ladder too. But to see the ladders. It's crazy how these ladders are so expensive. An extendable ladder. 160. Mm, we got a member's deal. These folks on evolutionized ladders. <laughs> ladders used to just be wood. Now these folks got, got, they got damn Tesla ladders now. They probably got AI installed. Ladder go up, ladder go down. Wow. $160 for a ladder. 
but that's an extendable one. I have a six feet ladder, but it's wooden and it's definitely not ideal for tree cutting and stuff. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just researching on countries and stuff like that. Cause I plan on cutting my own trees, trees down or whatever. I just hopefully don't hurt myself or something. I'm just glad I watched the video because there's certain ways that you gotta cut certain trees, and then all trees aren't built the same, so they have to be cut. Each tree has to be treated differently. Damn, that's a bar. Each tree has to be treated differently damn so yeah but the thing is i only have one chainsaw so i have to make that chainsaw last i have to take care of it because i don't want nothing to happen to it and have to buy another one so i'm at the matter of fact i got it from um harbor freighty that's where i got it from Let's see if I can pull it up. The one that I got. Because I really don't know if it's a good one. I see some that are corded. I mean cordless. I don't too much trust them. But I might I might buy one if I, you know, if I sell some of this stuff I already got. And I just use that money to buy another electric chainsaw. See, this is the one that I own right now. Right here. Oh, not up. The screen lagging. Let me see. Oh, man. Technology is so trash, bro. <laughs> so I believe the screen is frozen. So I might just have to make a second video. Let's see. Yeah, this chainsaw right here is two nineteen. I don't know if I bought it for that much. I think I paid like one seventy nine plus tax. Not sure. Don't remember. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because this video has clearly froze up and i'm so tired of this technology man so trash folks talking about putting us on internet and stuff like that they can't even stop their devices from freezing up so yeah with that being said either god signing out peace